unidentified floating objects to the scariest predators in the deep seas. Here are 16 bizarre creatures discovered in the Mariana Trench. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. So we had this in from Justin Jones that popped up on our Scariest Fish episode, and he's informing us that the Cena fish is the rarest fish of all because no one has ever seen it. So I'll admit it took a moment for me to get the pun, but I like it all the same. So thank you for that punishing comment, Justin, and cheers. Clams. Due to the intense pressures found at the extreme depths of the Mariana Trench, organisms with shells or bones wouldn't have much chance of survival. That's why so many soft-bodied creatures like sea cucumbers can thrive there. So researchers were surprised to find clams living in the trench close to serpentine hydrothermal vents. The vents emit hydrogen sulfide, which is normally dangerous to the creatures, but the clams are able to nullify the toxicity by binding harmless proteins into the sulfides, which is an ability they evolved over time. But it's still a mystery as to how the clam shells evolved to be strong enough to withstand the crushing water pressure. Xenophyphus. These are giant amoebas that were observed via a drop cam in the Mariana Trench near the Philippines. A great abundance of the organisms were found more than six and a half miles deep on the seafloor where they host a variety of life forms. Researchers have found that the huge cells are probably resistant to great amounts of heavy metals. That's because they can absorb massive quantities of uranium, mercury, and lead. Experts also noted that the amoebas are well adapted to survive in areas of darkness and high pressure in extreme ocean depths. Decapods. There are some 15,000 species of these crustaceans that have 10 legs or appendages, although some of the critters can have as many as 20. You might know decapods as shrimp, lobsters, or crabs, which make up nearly half the species. They can exist in a wide range of environments, from areas of high salinity to extreme depths where there is no light. Grenadiers. They're also known as the rat tail fish, and it gets that unflattering name by virtue of having a tail fin that tapers to a point, not dissimilar to that of a rat. They can grow up to five feet long and are found in waters from the Arctic to the Antarctic. Because they can exist at depths exceeding 19,000 feet, only a few of the creatures have ever been caught. Cusk eels. These marine critters are not eels at all. They're really bony fish with an eel-like appearance. They stay close to the sea bottom where the species can grow to more than six and a half feet long. Now, while they've been spotted in the Mariana Trench, one species of cusk eel was located in the Puerto Rico Trench at depths exceeding 27,000 feet, and that made it the world's deepest recorded fish. Six-gill shark. These creatures can reach lengths of 16 feet and glide along the ocean floor during the day sometimes diving as deep as 8,200 feet. They feed on rays, squids, crabs, and other sharks, and are known to have a keen sense of smell. Predatory tunicates. While this picture shows a predatory tunicate, it more resembles a jellyfish, or kind of looks like a plastic bag or transparent balloon that drifted into the ocean depths. The invertebrate creature was discovered during deep water explorations of the Marianas Trench, and if you look closely, you can see that it is anchored to the seafloor, which is typical for this species. The hood-like shape is its mouth, which remains open until some small critter drifts inside, whereupon the creature clamps down until it's ready to feast again. Now here's a critter that looks a lot like a tangled up purple scarf that a beachgoer left in the sand. Although there have been some more imaginative comparisons made. It's called an acorn worm and was found in the Pacific Ocean near Guam in the Marianas Trench National Monument area. If you look closely, you can see how the critter's proboscis is somewhat shaped like an acorn, which inspired the name. They move slowly where they live on the ocean floor at deep depths. Sea cucumber. The leathery elongated bodies will usually measure around 12 inches. Sea cucumbers are marine creatures most often located on the ocean floor. 
More than 1,700 species have been identified, and they can show up in some pretty amazing colors and bizarre physiologies. Many species are gathered for human consumption, but not because the animals taste like cucumbers. They get that name for their resemblance to the cucumber plant's fruit. Ghostfish. They're actually called snailfish, but the bizarre creatures in the picture look like they could be a swarm of ghosts flying through the air to scare off an intruder that disturbed them. In this case, the intruder was a remote-operated vehicle that was used during an international expedition at the Mariana Trench. It was located more than 26,000 feet deep and is said to be one of the deepest fish yet recorded on video. Scientists say the snailfish have large heads, small eyes, and have scaleless bodies similar to tadpoles. This species had two wing-like fins and is said to be incredibly fragile. Frilled shark. Now humans rarely cross paths with this creature. They tend to lurk at depths up to 5,000 feet below the surface. They have an eel-like body and are thought to lunge at the prey like a snake. It feeds mostly on cephalopods and on other sharks, and can swallow prey whole thanks to its long, flexible jaws. Its common name comes from the frilled appearance of six pair of gill slits. This eel-like shark has 25 rows of 300 dagger-like teeth and can grow more than five feet long. Deep Sea Dragonfish. Now, even though it's a fish, the creature has the appearance of an eel. It has slippery, slimy skin and possesses no scales. But it does have a terrifying face with huge choppers that more than validate its scary name. They're found in cold, dark waters at some 6,000 feet below the surface, and they use bioluminescent body parts to create a glow that is used for several purposes. It can be used to provide camouflage or to communicate with others of its kind. The glow from its barbel, which is kind of like a whisker, hangs from its lower jaw and serves to attract prey, which mistake it for an easy dinner. Instead, the would-be predator becomes an easy meal for the dragonfish. Orb jelly. One of the strangest creatures ever seen was found in the Mariana Trench in 2016. Now in the picture, the marine animal looks like some sort of orb that's radiating bolts of energy from its surface. Others think it looks more like a Christmas ornament but experts have identified it as a jellyfish, and it was located more than 12,000 feet deep in the trench. The shapes that appear like energy bolts are actually the creature's tentacles. The bright yellow shapes might be the critter's gonads, according to experts, and the reddish coloration in the bell could be its radial canals. So far, researchers have identified the genus, but haven't officially assigned it a name. But they do suggest it could represent a completely new species. Sea Devil Anglerfish. Now the name is about as scary as the fish looks. With its oddly shaped body and mouthful of razor teeth, they do look like they could have swum up from the depths of hell. The procreation is kind of scary too. The male will essentially fuse himself to the larger female until the two fish become one, and he later serves to fertilize the female's eggs at the right time. Did you know this creature's jaws can open wide enough to swallow prey larger than itself? the Dumbo octopus. Now maybe it's fitting that the strange cephalopod is named for its resemblance to Walt Disney's Dumbo, the flying elephant, because the creature does kind of look like a Disney creation. Its fins that appear like prominent ears inspired the nickname. But its cartoonish appearance is enhanced by large eyes and an odd puckered mouth. They're among the rarest octopuses and the deepest dwelling member of the order. They're known to live up to 23,000 feet below the surface, and while they can camouflage themselves by changing color, the animals have a trait that is definitely undisney like They eat the prey whole. Let's see Mickey Mouse do that. And before getting to our number one creature, here is an honorable mention. So you likely would not expect to find humans in the Mariana Trench, right? Without using remote operated vehicles, there's no way that we could survive those crushing depths. But evidence of humans has been found there. Scientists say that extraordinary levels of pollution have been discovered more than six miles deep in the trench. Along with plastic bags and tin cans littering the seafloor, evidence of high levels of banned industrial chemicals are contaminating marine life there. Amphipods, which are small prawn-like crustaceans, were collected 
and were found to have extremely high levels of toxic chemicals. Experts say that once those chemicals seep to the bottom of the trench, there's nowhere else it can go, and that leads to high levels of contamination. So, it looks like there is no area on Earth remote enough to get away from ourselves. Fangtooth fish. They can survive at extreme, icy depths of over 16,000 feet in some of the darkest parts of the ocean. With such a nightmarish appearance, it's hard to believe the creature is only around six inches long and possesses no known threat to humans. But looking at the picture, you can see how large those teeth are. In fact, those choppers are the largest teeth of any fish proportionate to body size. 